the hell do you think you're doing? I'm calling the police. Here. The call's on me. What the hell? gathered to invoke Satan's will. The Master has vested his power in me, and I shall bring it forth. This is one of us who has passed on. He was the best of us. Strongest. Now I will summon him from the hindrance of death and return him to the living. They seem to be trying some kind of invocation. Soon you will walk amongst us again. Arise, brother. You are the first of the great ones to coax our master to this world. Our power and influence has diminished since you were gone. It will return. As you return. By my word, so moat it be! Patience, Mickey. True art takes time. Sir, Madam T is served in the studio. Well, are you getting tired? Go ahead, take five. How's he coming, Ryan? Good. 
My art teacher used to tell me, sculpting is easy. First you see the clay, then you feel the clay. Then if you want to make an elephant, you take away everything that isn't the elephant. So that's what I'm doing. Ah, and this is the trunk here. You need a little help with the, the leg. Ryan, don't let him kid you. It's great. Thank you. You're not just saying that because you're in love with the subject matter, are you? No, no, it's a work of art, almost. You know, it's a shame. What? Well, you have this talent, and you're stuck here, not being able to do anything about it. Oh, this isn't going to last forever, Mickey. We'll all be able to get on with our lives one of these days. That's right. Besides, this is the first relaxing evening I've had in quite some time. I'm going to take full advantage of it. Curious goods. Jack Marshak. May I tell him who's calling? Just get him, damn it. Jack, it's for you. Marshak? Mr. Marshak, my name is Tom Hewitt. I need your help. Yes, Mr. Hewitt, is this to do with a purchase from the store? No, I've never been to your store. I got your name out of the morgue. The morgue? The, the clipping files from my paper and what the times. They said you're an expert on the occult on witchcraft. It's a little late for an interview. Uh, if you want to drop by tomorrow morning. And... This can't wait until morning. All right. Where would you like to meet? I'm afraid it's a little too dangerous for that. Mr. Marshak, listen. I left an envelope for you in the basement locker at Union Station. An envelope? The key is taped on the wall behind the lockers. Pick it up as soon as you can. Look, what the hell is... I can't talk right now. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Mr. Hewitt, if you're in some kind of trouble, you're going to have to tell me. Mr. Marshak, I think I just saw a man come back from the dead. telling the truth. I don't, but Mr. Hewitt was scared, really scared. Well, maybe I should come with you. No, Mickey, no, you stay here by the phone in case he calls. Did you think you could get away with this, Mr. Hewitt? Spying on us. Eavesdropping on our peaceful gatherings. Peaceful gatherings? I've almost got enough evidence to prove you butchered babies. You sacrificed young children. For centuries, others have gathered as we, to show their devotion to the Dark Lord and to do his works. We have been hunted and persecuted by your kind for far too long. How in God's name? Eight months ago, our dear brother, Carl, left us. Driven to his death by those who did not share our vision of the universe. He is the first of three who will return from their graves. What are you talking about? Brother Carl has great skill in calling spirits. I have found our ancestors. Brother Tyrion, the most powerful Satanist of the last century. And Witch Hiberia, Queen of Salem. Together, we will call our master to regain his throne. Twisted these people, Sylvan, you warped their minds. 
But even they won't believe you got power over death. They saw what you saw, Mr. Hewitt. Witches have always been able to raise the spirits of the dead. But I found a way to bring their bodies back as well. Where are you taking me? The time has come to unleash another soul from the gates of hell. No! Somebody help! No, not yet. What's that? I'm about to find out. We only glanced at it in the car. Ah. Mickey, do you know where the mini tape recorder is? What are those? Looks like a witch's coffin. Oh. Some kind of ceremony. What else is there? There's a film, undeveloped. And a whole lot of obituaries on a... A stockbroker called Carl Naft. Seems he died eight months ago. Could that be the man who was resurrected? I don't know. Let's hear the tape. Sounds backwards. The Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer chanted backwards is the opening prayer in a black mass. I'm sorry you won't be around when our master returns, Mr. Hewitt. Take comfort in knowing we couldn't have done it without you. I will, so mount it be. figure out what any of this stuff means if Hewitt doesn't call. He isn't gonna call. He's dead. Yeah, he and the caretaker of the cemetery. Hewitt was really onto something, huh? Hmm? Yeah, the newspaper says that he's been working for months on a story about some occult sect. He suspects them of a number of murders. What have you got there? Oh, yeah, I have the film developed and printed. What? Jack, mm. maybe this does have something to do with Naft. You could be right. Sounds like a curse, too. One person dies, another comes back to life. The ram's head scar. Maybe what we ought to do is find out exactly how they died. Mickey, how about you going on down to the coroner's office and see what you can unearth, for want of a better expression? Look at this. You think there's a connection? I think it certainly should be looked into. Let's do it. emblem on the crate is from the Museum of Natural History. Yeah. Looks big enough for a body. Doesn't it? Yes. Jack Marshak, Curious Goods. My associate and I are antique dealers. How can I help you? Well, we're interested in buying stock for our store. What kind of stuff? Oh, uh, lion's heads, tiger rugs, those umbrella stands they used to make out of uh, elephant's feet. And, uh, we pay top dollar. We have nothing like that, sorry. 
There's a lot of call for uh, trophy heads of all kinds, if you have anything. We do custom work. There's nothing left over. I have work to do, if you gentlemen will excuse me. Sorry to bother you. Thank you for your time. Where that box disappeared so fast. And what was in it? I'm going to drop you off to the museum, see what you can find out. I want to hear what Mickey was able to learn. This thing's getting weirder all the time. People who picked up Hewitt's package. They must not interfere. They won't. We have already found Tyrion. By tonight, we will have Hyberia as well. Then, we will be too strong for anyone to stop. And the coroner who did the autopsy told me that Hewitt was unmarked except for a brand on his forehead. A brand? A ram's head. The symbol of Satan. That's it. That's it. Look at that. There. The coin of Xyocles, sold to Sylvan Winters. The taxidermist. Well, what does it do? Oh, no, Xyocles was an alchemist in the 14th century. He was uh, probably one of the earliest of the really powerful warlocks. He minted his own gold coins, put a ram's head on them, and then he used them to decide whether his enemies should live or die. Tails you live, heads you die. Yes, at least until Lewis got hold of it. Now it doesn't only determine your fate, it seals it. We've got to go back to that taxidermist shop. why the box disappeared so quickly. Before us lies the body of Tyriel, the great warlock our master chose as his messenger. With his return, Satan will speak with us again. Wind and flames, where you are cast, no spell or evil purpose lasts. Bring back, back from death, death he who has passed. passed. Hear our will, addressed to thee, 
and as our words, so mote it be. Rise. The coin. Arise. We command. a century. And now, awakened by the coin of Syracles. Who are you? One that shares your faith and seeks the master's return. Tonight, by the full moon, we will revive our sister, Hyberia. Over there! Stop them! They must not escape! Nikki, run for it that way. I'll throw them off. Jack, no! Yes, get back to the store. Tell Ryan what we've seen. Hurry! Another visitor. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. No. Then perhaps you'd like a closer look. Jack, am I glad you're here? You're not gonna believe what I found out. Where's McGee? I don't know. I thought she was with you. Oh, my God. What's the matter? We went back to the taxidermy shop. There's a damn great cavern underneath that, and a coven of witches, they came after us. And we split up to try and shake them off. She's still down there? Great, she's not. Come on! The car, she's still around here somewhere. Jack? Jack? Oh, my God, what's that? Stay right there, gentlemen. It's nothing to see. I'm sorry, you're paying for this. No, no, no. She can't be dead. No. Nikki, no. She can't be dead. She can't be. Did you guys call this one? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you have any idea where she was tonight or why she's doing it? Let's turn off his prison. Yeah, sure. So why don't you let her go? alone! Don't touch her! Officer. You need to reach us. Here. Okay. After the coroner looks at her, we'll call and discuss funeral arrangements. 
I'm not leaving her. <laughs> Look at me. We have to. Can't do any more here. Satan's mistress. Returning her to life will be our greatest service to you. It was prophesied Iberia would rule again. Now we will make that prophecy come true. Then we four will rule the world. Told me what you found at the museum. Does it matter anymore? Of course it matters. Ryan? She never had a chance at life, Jack. Beautiful. She didn't deserve this. She knew we could run out of luck someday. But where does it say she had to keep doing this? Where does it say she had to throw her life away chasing some damn coin? She knew it had to be done, Ryan. Why? And why did you run out on her? run out on her. I bought her all the time I could. It wasn't enough. Why did you let them get their hands on her, you bastard? Ryan, for God's sake! <laughs> Didn't you know that I loved her, too? No, this wasn't her job. It isn't yours, and it sure as hell isn't mine. But who else is gonna stop what began here? And if we don't do it, what happens to all the people other people love? Cameron Tyriel, 1833-1888, satanic priest and warlock, who published the region of shadows purported to have been dictated to him by Satan himself. What was the museum doing with his body? Well, they'd had it for years. It was buried so far back in the storeroom, the curator didn't even know it was there. That explains why Sylvan waited so long to use the coin. He had to find the bodies of the powerful witches before he could resurrect them, didn't he? 
But why bring them back to life? Because they have combined powers enough to raise the devil himself. Oh, look. This is Hiberia, the Queen Witch of Salem. Legend has it she was Satan's lover. What do you suppose she looks like now? The witches of Salem were hung. They weren't burned. Most of the bodies were thrown into a muddy swamp, where, as it happens, the clay preserved them. Look, here's one that was dredged out a few years ago. I imagine that Hiberia is just about as attractive. Sylvan said they'd be bringing her back tonight. We don't have much time. Mm. OK. All right, the car's out back. Jack, one more thing. When this is over, I'm finished. I'm leaving. I'm not doing this anymore. Ryan. Don't try and talk me out of it. I've made up my mind. I don't want to go through this again when you die. OK? OK. Good. Now, let's go make them wish they'd never been born. about to begin. I want you to take this litter. Where is the coin? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. What you do the coin of Cycle? It's long since gone, been lost for centuries. But you have it. I saw you use it. Where is it? <laughs> I'll have no trouble using this. In fact, I think I'd enjoy it. Last chance, where is it? Down there with them. I'll get rid of this thing. At least they won't bring her back. Destiny will determine who will be brought back, not you. Will destiny determine who gets a slit throat? Hmm? I'm no good to you, Dad. You're not a lot of use to me alive either. I'll leave the choice up to you. Is it money? I can get you all you want. The only money I want is the coin. <laughs> Now, old man, you can join your dead companion. Not if you want to know where my friend has taken Hyberia. Don't kill him. Save him for the coin. That's far enough. Oh. ceremony long enough. The next time we meet, it will be to bring you before the master. I'm sure he'll be very pleased to meet you.
conjure thee, great Satan, to bless this ceremony. Join us as your mistress is reborn. Celebrate her life with us. We beseech thee in the name of all those who have fallen in your service. Witness our devotion. Join us, Master. Arise, Dark Lord. Reign eternal torment on our enemies and share the rebirth of your lost. Hyperion! What the hell is that? Satan himself. He's coming! Well, hurry, Jack! I invoke thy presence, Hyperia. Thou who knoweth the secrets of terra firma, who controlleth the tides and sea? Do thou ascend and be present, I beseech thee. Snuck you out of the morgue while the coroner was having a midnight snack. Ryan here, he made a mask of Iberia's face to put over yours. And Jack kept Selvin busy long enough for me to make the switch. Why didn't you just get the coin and bring me back that way? Oh, Mickey, we didn't have the coin. Now, our one chance was to get Sylvan to do it for us, and that's what destroyed the coven. A very dangerous business, conjuring up the devil. You don't give him what you promise him. Uh, the whole roof will fall in on you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost the coin. 
Yeah, well, I think the coin's as safe as if it was in the vault. It's buried under hundreds of tons of rubble. I think we can say we won this one. Hmm? Yep. Welcome back. Wouldn't want to go on doing this stuff without you. 